everyone, Blake here from Blue Dog Prospecting, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm out the back of Nana Glen, got the kids, got the Jamie, <laughs> and uh, we're going out to find some gold. We just went past one mine, have a look at the country we're driving through, we're trying to find Brad. I've been looking for you for about an hour now, Brad. Where are you? Anyway, I'll uh, put this down and uh, navigate this hazardous terrain while we uh, try and find back, way back down to the creek. I just ran into one of my subscribers. Had a bit of a yarn in for a while. Anyway, there's the tower. I don't see him, that's the tower he was telling me about and then he said turn right, so we're going to turn right this way. Meow. Way, big butter boom. And I'll see you when I get down there. Well, we're down at the creek. I don't see no Brad. So, obviously I've taken a wrong turn again. Could have at least tied a bandana or something to a bloody tree for me, Brad. Oh, there's a mine over there. Look, mine shaft right there. Anyway, good little creek running out there. Moving on. Should be overgrown down here. I should have known Brad wouldn't come down here. Might scratch his pretty car. Hey, look out. Yeah. This is Bobbian. Uh, oh, I can see mine relics. I'd say there's some mine shafts around here. Oh, I'll go this way. She's bumpy. Sorry about my bumpy camera skills. Better put it down so we can rip some skids. Ah, just joking. We're all sensible. There's the creek. So I found Brad the Chinaman. You have to go check out his channel. What did you call it? Galley's Gold and Four Wheel Driving Adventures. That's the one. Righto. So we're just going to move. I'm done. Bit of a pan there, nothing. A couple of pans where Layla and Immy are there, got nothing. I'm gonna move this big rock. I'm gonna get right down. We've got the tailings behind it so you can see that it's creating a low pressure zone in behind this rock. And drop off point. Brad's been working up in here. So we'll sit this camera down, we'll move this. Nothing yet.
sounds like it's going around anyway. That's good. Oh, this water's bloody nice. This is what my pool's like at the moment too. What's that? This is what my pool's like at the moment. Righto, so we've been doing some sniping. Just down, there's a crevice. Just there, and one here. And back in this one here, I found a really nice little band of gold. It's in the water for probably 10 minutes or so. And that's what we got. Some nice little show of colour there. So... Some nice chunky pieces. So we'll see how we go. We'll keep on plugging away. That little band of gold sort of disappeared. So hopefully we'll get some more. My mask's all fogged up. There's Brad, young fella. Doing some sluicing up here. So uh, we'll see if he gets any yellow. And uh, we might even have a go behind here. Anyway. But, my God, is the water nice today? I suggest you all get the family, go bush, and find some shiny, shiny. Well, we've had our fun for the day. We've done a bit of sniping, got that nice little show of gold. It's a shame I don't have my underwater camera. Because if I did, I would have been able to show you. And uh, anyway, we're all packed up now, getting ready to go. Here comes Brad with some pay dirt. Got the family coming up there. Anyway. I've done some testing around here, got a few tiny little specks not worth showing, a few in front of here, tiny specks not worth showing, a good shine of colour was behind that rock, and uh, a little bit more, ran the sluice, the triple eight sluice over here, and uh, they got about four or five colours, only real, real little fly pups, not worth showing, so, anyway, there's a bit of a Look at the beautiful creek at the back of Nana Glen. And we're going to jump in the car and go and have, check out some of these mines, I think. And it just so happens I lost two of my jerry cans on the way down here. Driving a little bit rough and wild. I don't know how the bloody hell that they fell out of there, but they did. So if anyone's out here, Finds two jerry cans, let me know. <laughs> you get that, Good eh? Times. Good times. Driving up the bumpy track. Going to see the Lady Matilda Mine. Here we are, up at Lady Matilda Mines, looks like there's a shaft there or something. Another shaft there, full of water. Well, it looks like things are running down through here with it, following the seam, and it's all caved in now. Right through here. Mm -hmm. yeah, just in the way up where those ferns were. Before. Just following the Chinaman down to the old Chinese diggings. <laughs> you see a lot of cave in areas. They were definitely following a 
to find pay streak through there, eh? Yeah, indeed. And not see the bottom. They must have been stoop mining where they put the sticks across and they just sort of climb down on them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Geez, they've done some work there, though. Yeah, mate. Must have been a rich seam because they've made sure they've cleaned all of it out. More there, they must have dug down to the scene, sampled. Quartz. Must have been another outcropping here. Oh, that'd be following the same scene. Hmm. I bet there's some wombats living in there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Can hear me voice echo on. I'd smell bats. Stinky batch. Oh look, someone's been. Obviously up here, taking quartz out of there. You can see the seam here. <sighs> Might be dark bit there, looks like galena. You can see the actual quartz vein right there. Whoever was digging that was keen, because I wouldn't like that falling on me head. Anyway. This must have been where they were stockpiling it. Yeah, right. Jishy's a steep hill too. Mm. Interesting. Someone's obviously added metal detect there and found something. Mm. Good old. It's when you want a big portable rock crusher. Okay. If you roasted that up in the fire, that'd come out real red, eh? Got some nice cavities in it too. Yeah, be worth crushing it all up. That piece would be. Got some nice crystallisation in it. Like a kid at a candy shop. <laughs> Another. It's a lot cleaner quartz here, isn't it? It's not as iron stained as what the other stuff is. Some nice white stuff. That one's got some good iron in it. Okay, it's just a cave in that one. Someone lost a motorbike wheel down there. I wonder if the rest of it... Oh yeah, there's two motorbike wheels down there. I wonder where the rest of the bike went. <laughs> Geez, they dug it nice and square too, didn't they?
Another cave in. There's quartz there. Just littered, isn't it? Nice square. So usually it was the Europeans that dug square. The Chinese believe that shadows hot here in corners. Uh, spirits hid in corners, so they always had round holes. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The camera don't do it no justice, but you can... The whole place is like this, with shafts and adits. Going in. Yeah, I'd say this is the other side of it. They could have been just doing the shallow outcroppings and then and then um, running out of gold. Well, they've done some work, haven't they? You can see it running right up through here. Be a good spot to camp up here too. Look at all the holes up in here. Does need a good fire. In too. Yeah, you know, we've gone straight through the mountain and then shafts to pull it all up. Probably, yeah, I'd say so. Well, there you go, everyone. That's the Lady Matilda mine, isn't it? Is that what they called it? That's yeah. It, yeah. Lady Matilda mine. So, if you like what you've seen today, don't forget to hit that big thumbs up or subscribe button. Go and check out Brad's channel. What was that one again? Galley's Gold. Galley's Gold and Four Drive Adventures. That's the go. Yeah. Go and subscribe to him, support his channel. Some good stuff on there. As you can see, he's brought me up here, showed me this place. So, anyway. Go for a wander around, have a look, and um, head home. Cheers for watching, everyone. See you next time. Peace.